everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny. And I'm Robert. We're the Goffs. And today we are canning. I have help. I am going to definitely help today. We have some pork. This is actually his first time canning with me, so mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I need a lot of instruction. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to be canning up some carnitas. My fave. With some citrus flavors in there. It's going to be stinking delicious. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, all right, let's get started. All right. We had a little technical difficulty there for a split second. Mexican oregano next. Has to be Mexican oregano. You, you can't use Italian oregano. It doesn't work. It's not the same flavors. I see this a whole bunch. People making um, recipes, like Mexican style recipes and using regular oregano. It does not work. This has a specific flavor. If you can't find it, I have an Amazon link in, of pantry, Jenny's pantry items, in my description box. It's in there. Oops, sorry. Also going to be adding some cumin. Some black pepper, not a lot. Now that that's all a hot mess. <laughs> And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. Okay, normally onions do not go in this recipe, but I like them, so I'm putting them in. I have garlic in there, but I also want to put a little bit of garlic powder in. Same thing with onion powder. And I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne in. You don't like hot, leave it out. But it's not going to make it spicy. There's not enough in there. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on. Basically, for the broth, you want to bring it to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. We're way beyond that. I'm just going to put it over to the other burner and let it simmer because we still have to put our pork in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees. And we've got to get our canner out here. The um, jars are soaking. As soon as I get the pork into the oven, I will go ahead and get the jars washed. He's got all the pork cut up. I need to separate it on two trays though because you don't want to overcrowd it. You want to roast them and get some of the fat off of it. Okay. Our oven's preheated and ready to go. I am going to put salt on. A couple teaspoons of salt, one for each tray. And pepper. Now we just want to stir these up, make sure they're all coated with salt and pepper. Into the oven for 30 minutes and I'm going to set my 
timer at 15 minutes I'm going to stir them up okay busy day in the kitchen I have my bread going here for the week and I gotta get dessert made for tomorrow tomorrow's family day dinner I've got hard-boiled eggs going over in my little egg cooker. Okay, we are ready to start canning. Our broth is done. Our pork is done. So I'm just going to fill my jars halfway with pork. Basically only want a pound in each jar. We're doing it kind of soup style. Again, it's a matter of preference to roast this first. It's not fully cooked. It's going to cook the rest of the way in the pressure cooker, or the pressure canner. So you can put it in raw if you prefer. I like to do it this way because it kind of bakes off some of the fat and it doesn't end up in my jar. You want to put green peppers in each jar? I most certainly do. Okay. I'll have him put a slice of green pepper in each jar. As soon as he's done washing his hands. Just a perfect amount of flavor. Absolutely. All right, now we're going to get our broth. And can you hand me that red label? The big one. That's the one. Thank you. This broth smells so good, I can and smell the citrus in it. We need one inch head space because we're canning meat. I'm going to dip bubble. probably end up opening a jar of these this, this week. Tonight for dinner what? No, not tonight. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> We're having steak tonight. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Steak. Love steak. We had a couple of leftover steaks from Monday. We grilled and had people over. So he was smart enough to save a couple out. We'll grilling those up here shortly. going to be so good with that green pepper flavor. No, I want to wait. I want to heat that broth up and hope there's some left over. 
There might I'm be gonna some. pour it all over my. I'm gonna pour it all in my mouth. That's what I'm gonna do. Hear that? He's gonna pour any leftover broth in his mouth. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. If you wanna watch, <laughs> I'll show you in the next video. Please edit that malarkey. <laughs> you might be out of luck. I'm full of malarkey. Oh, oh. look at that. Pro status coming here. I think I'll be using it all. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for letting me participate in your video. Anytime. <laughs> yeah. Y'all heard that right? <laughs> <clears throat> Anytime. Anytime until next time. I believe you did, but you know what I think would be nice in there? What? Drop a line. When we open it up to heat it up. Wouldn't be good to put it in now. It's already got lime in it. Well, I mean a chunk of lime. No. That would mess with the canning process. Probably a whole citrus ranch. I've never done that. Ooh. Smidge more. Oh, there's a little smidge more? Just a smidge in pigeon. That means I get to drink some. Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Now we wipe the lids. Rims. Rinse the lids. Someday he'll learn the lingo. One day. Keep that out of the video. Out of paper towels, so I'm using dish towel today. <laughs> Can't believe we were out. When we were at Costco, we bought toilet paper. Hey, For some reason, we didn't buy No, we did towel. not. We didn't even think about it. Grab the rings over there. All the way over there? They're mm. just right there. Wow. Okay, so they go on fingertip tight, which I think you're doing. Good job. That's fingertip tight. Good job. Whose fingers, though? Right. A brute? Mine or <laughs> the, look. I just seal the jar forever, right there. I ain't, you don't need anything else. Just kidding. That, that's not how it works. But that is finger tight. Well, you don't want it tight, tight. No. Because these actually have to loosen up in the process to vent. Well, it should. If you do them too Oops. tight, it'll buckle. Well, let's see. You tell me if it's too tight. No, I think you did good. Good job. Oh. <laughs> okay, Let me do the heavy lifting. Sure. Be the crane operator today. Okay. Everybody's going in the hot tub. That's right. Everybody in the hot tub. Don't you just love that? Mm-hmm. Should have been a crane yeah. operator. <laughs> I uh, don't think it's the same. It's goodness. Just... Probably not the same, but. You think it would have been as much fun as being an electrician? It depends on what kind of crane I was in, I guess. But no, not nearly as fun. All right. So go ahead and put the lid on and batten down the hatches.
Uh oh. Just buckling it up. And then we're going to process these guys for 90 minutes because they're quartz. If you do this in pints, you're going to process 75 minutes. Same for half pints. Okay, we are nice and secure. Okay, we're going to turn our heat up and get it going. I don't like to bring it up to pressure on high. I just kind of bring it up on a, between a five and a six. And then we're going to go ahead and let this vent for 10 minutes. We'll time that process. So we will see you in a couple hours when these come off of pressure. Okay, canner is done. Just making some room, slide my bread over. Canner is done and it smells delicious in here. Oh my gosh, you smell that green pepper? Oh, it smells amazing. It does. All right, which one are we gonna eat? <laughs> we already had dinner. Well, I know you just made homemade bread, and I see homemade strawberry jelly. Mm-hmm. Can have some bread. I just don't see whole milk. Whose fault is that? Gobble, 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 gobble. Okay, and there they are. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. There they are, still moving air, of course. They smell so good. He's ready to get, dive into them. <laughs> All right, folks. You are definitely going to want to make these. All right, and there you go. And this is how you can pork. <laughs> Carnitas style. Yes. So I will put this recipe in the description box below for you so that you have it if you're interested in canning it. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one at JennyGoff.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.